guys, Rich Duperbash, and I'm out here for run number three with the uh, Creighton 8S. This is the shortened version with the M2C prototype crusher chassis. So hopefully this thing will be out for release soon. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, today I'm just basically going to be testing the, the O-ring uh, CNC machined pistons that Mitch made for this. They were a perfect fit. They're silky, silky smooth. And then I'm also going to be trying these uh, these tires that I went ahead and threw on. These were kind of a last set my hobby shop had. These are off the X-Max. Uh, obviously I had to modify the hex because they have this like proprietary hex. So I went ahead and took some plastic out of the hub. Uh, really wasn't too big of an issue and then just drilled it out with my step drill. So anyway, uh, we'll see how the we'll see how these do. And also I'm, I've am uh, i went ahead and put in a couple button head screws underneath here. So I've got uh, essentially droop screws. I've got two screws per arm. So we'll see how this goes. Tires rip, guys. Trax just got this right. Yeah, I did vent them too, just to keep water out of them and dirt and crap. an animal guys. These tires do killer in the sand too, guys.
All right, guys, this thing is just an absolute beast. I gotta say, I really do love these uh, X-Max tires. Again, I had one come unglued right at the end of my last little uh, shock testing, but uh, all in all, it looks like they, they handle pretty much, uh, they got perfect amount of ballooning. Again, I did have to modify the hex because uh, Traxxas has this kind of weird hex on the inside, so I had to cut up uh, on the inside of the hub a bunch of the, <clears throat> a bunch of these little tabs and basically bore this out for uh, 18, 19 millimeters. So. All right, guys, well, huge shout out to Arma. The shocks feel absolutely awesome. Huge shout out to Mitch Looper. Of course, this uh, this shorter chassis, guys, is just, it's such a such a riot to drive. Here's a close-up so. shot of Mitch's pistons. Again, these are CNC machined uh, Delrin, uh, both the black and the white ones. You'll notice the O-ring that slips around. There's a little groove that goes around the piston. These are pretty much identical in design as the 6S ones he came out with his uh, zero rebound setup. Again, this is not going to be a bladderless system, but what it does is these pistons, unlike the stock ones with the O-ring around here, what this does is you get like ultra smooth stroke up and down in the shock body. Uh, and in, in any case, and these little slits here, I'm not sure if you're making those out. What, what this does is if you face this piston downward, when you're when you're coming back from your rebound, what it does is it forces oil into these slits, exerts just a little bit of pressure on the O-ring, and basically it, it slows down that bounce when you're coming back up from a landing. We're probably going to end up going with a 1.4 hole in the front and probably close to a 1.3 in the rear. Here's a shot of another goodie, and I want to give another big shout out and thank you to Stéphane Saucier out of Canada. He just shipped out these prototype Creighton ADES diff cup gaskets. So I've had just absolutely awesome luck with his 6S gaskets. In fact, this is all I run and all my rigs. And he actually had sent me out some of his uh, his diff case gaskets as well. So I need to give these suckers a shot. <laughs> 